back everybody welcome back and thank you so much for watching and all your support for my new challenge in life don't forget before I get started please thumbs up and hit subscribe for me so we can keep these videos going so anyway how's everyone doing I'm doing great hope you are too and today I thought I would share with you all my oral hygiene, all the routine I go through because it's very important with the Bulbar ALS and we all should be doing this anyway so I thought I'd share it with you so you can all do it whether you have ALS or not and if you're watching this and you're another ALS um, person I don't want to say suffer. <laughs> Another ALS um, person, then I'm going to share with you what I do so maybe you get some ideas too and we'll all share them together. Now, with ALS, why the oral hygiene is so very important with the bulbar. And I was told by my dental team too, right from the very beginning, to watch it out and keep up the good dental care so I've always taken good care of my teeth. I have this fear of losing my teeth like my dad did. Never want to go through it. So I've always looked after them. But now they said take extra care. And sure enough, I have discovered now what they're talking about. You would be amazed how much our tongue works for us when we're eating it's the strongest muscle in our mouth, in our whole body, actually. And the what happens, we get pocketing because our tongue isn't as active, pushing and moving things around. And we've got a lot of food trapped way down. It's not a circle, but way down, down here, up here. And because the tongue is weak, we don't instinctively scoop it up with our tongue. And I found myself with my finger scooping out, and that, that's pretty gross. So now instead of twice a day, it's three to four times a day to do a quick brushing. So I am going to show you my kit and the natural products as well as the purchased products that I use and how I use them. And for everyone out there, I totally recommend this, whether you have ALS or not. So let's have fun. Welcome to my bathroom and now for my routine to share with you. So I pulled it out of the closet, my little kit, all together so I don't forget to do anything, okay? So, first thing I want to talk about is the electric toothbrush. Now, I have been using one for 20 years. My mother, who's now been gone for 20 years, was the first one to have one and introduce us. It was awesome. Still use it. In fact, I used her machine until it died about four years ago. So, get what you pay for it. They last a long time recharging. But anyway, um, now... With this, for other ALS patients who can't use their hands as well, I'm fortunate I can. At least now you just move it around. But what's great about it, you can massage your gums. And for me and people with tongue problems, and it's good for also hygiene, it's awesome to massage and clean your tongue. So sticking out, I'm not going to do it on the screen. But, uh, beautiful massaging. And when you swallow, little bits, you would be surprised. There's not the big chunks that we get out. You'd be surprised how many little pieces that get caught and engaged in up in here and on the back of our tongue, which can cause me to gag or just constantly, <coughs> constantly trying to get it off. That will cover later. Um, so definitely recommend 
that. I do have a battery operated one that my daughter gave me. I keep in my travel bag so if I forget this, at least I have the smaller battery operated one. So I start with brushing my teeth. Now, in the morning, of course I still use my sensitive teeth whitening because I did have dental surgery a couple of years ago and it's close to the um, root, the gum line raised. So I need it for a sensitivity to protect my gum. But at night, I make my own toothpaste. Here comes the apothecaries. Now you see it's nice and creamy and it is baking soda and coconut oil. Now, is to make your own, it's 50-50. So if I'm making one cup, it's one cup of each. I usually just do a couple of tablespoons at a time. Coconut oil, one of the benefits, it doesn't go rancid. And so I do that, and I put peppermint essential oil to give it a flavor if you don't hate the taste of it. Now, <clears throat> coconut oil, the benefits, they're antibacterial, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant. Unless you know we need the antioxidants. When I'm brushing my teeth with this, I don't uh, spit it all out, just the excess, but in the end, I, I don't worry, I want to absorb. Okay, so the coconut oil also the benefit it helps to absorb minerals. And the minerals are in it are calcium and magnesium, vitamin E, zinc, and iron. So that's a little bonus kick. And what I do because of the ALS, I take a magnesium tablet, I blend it and powder it and put it a tablet in this as well. So because with me that little bit of flinching in the tongue and my lips when I'm tired. Not much but enough to make me notice. So the calcium magnesium helps with that. It's also recommended for um, the ketone properties and that helps with the plaque buildup and also bad breath. And with that is the baking soda, and it too helps with the whitening. So you have the two that help with the plaque buildup and the teeth whitening. And also baking soda lowers the pH level, and that helps to keep the alkaline. So it helps with the healing too, because now with the loose um, lips, muscles. I sometimes wake up in the morning with a sore inside for me biting down on it or sometimes chewing I hit a bite. So if I have a sore then that helps me up the healing. So I usually do this at night so then at night it stays in there and helps absorb. Along with that I then, during the day, after I brush my teeth, during the day, I'll give it a rinse with a Listerine or whatever you choose. It's an antibacterial mouthwash and leave that in because it's very important for the antibacterial because of all the pieces staying in our mouth. We have to be very careful with that in our gum line. And then the odd time when I do feel a little bit of um, extra bacteria, if I miss some, if I've been away, I haven't done my routine too much, I found this um, iodine spray. So if I assume that I have an extra bad sore, it's just a little squirt, and I'll do that at night so it'll sit there and absorb in. So this is also good for sore throats. Um, I don't seem to have too much problem. It's just my voice box stretch. It's not sore. But it's good to have on hand if you have a cold or um, a sore throat coming on. 
Hey, give it a squirt. It does work. It's very good. And then, once I go to bed, after I in my kit have my glasses from my dad's cupboard, so I get my dad's energy. When you're just doing that, brushing teeth, I always keep a clean cloth because drooling, <laughs> controlling as I brush my teeth. But afterwards, during the day, moisturizing the lips. I have my own lip balm, happy healing lip balm with me as my baby of the moss. And I have Chaz Calendula Plantain and uh, Comfrey for healing because um, you can't lick your lips. You'd be surprised how many times in a day, how often it is, so just like blinking, you lick your lips. And then while eating them constantly with a napkin, so for my lip care, I have made a lip balm. And that has been healing of it. And I'll use a little embrace of a sugar balm. That's another story that I use to help with the exfoliating. And then, of course, every day, and I keep one in my purse. That helps to keep the moisture and movement on my lips a lot easier. And But at night, when I'm all done, I have, of course, my stuff again, Solomon Seal. <coughs> now, Solomon Seal is very healing. And with a dropper, I can then move it around. I'll put some on my lips at night instead of the lip balm, but also put it down inside and I'll put it around on my gum line and I'll also on my tongue. For the healing properties, it's a mucus um, activation and calcium. That's another long story. Basically, a healing to help with the heal and production happening while I'm sleeping. Get things moving. So, of course, always flush your teeth. You'd be amazed how many little pieces. Do that before you rinse. And these cute little things have a cap on for flossing in between the lot of cycle and perfect for keeping in your wallet or your purse. Another thing that was recommended by my speech pathologist, a little baby toothbrush. And I have a case and I keep this and that little pick in my purse for a quick restaurant. Not for the teeth, but for the pocketing, because that's very dangerous for us, for bacteria. Don't want any cavities, always been good. Don't want to start now. <laughs> So, there we go. That's what I wanted to share with you. Now, even if you don't have ALS, I would still recommend doing all this on a regular daily basis for good, awesome teeth. <coughs> go, go. Voice guard stress. But, there we go. Another update on the ALS. So far, it's so good. It's still plateaued. And my mouth, after I do all my routine, feels so much better and keeping it strong. Okay? So I'll talk to you all again soon. Please subscribe for me with thumbs up. That would be awesome. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Big hugs. Bye. Hi, everyone. I'm back again for me because I have some exciting news to update you. So here's your update. Guess what I can do? I just finished supper, went out to do my teeth, and look. Yay! I couldn't do that yesterday. My tongue can now go around. <laughs> I can lick my neck. Yay, so exciting. It's working, it's working. Thank you. Thank you, angels. Okay, so keep you updated. Bye.